inside Oracle Arena in Oakland. I'm Ed Cohen with Jay Williams. And Jay, in recent years, no doubt, this has been the NBA's epicenter. I'll take it one level above you, baby. How about this team has redefined the offense in the NBA, leading the league with record-setting three-point shots made. Join us to watch some of the greatest players on the planet, and they're ready to go. Jay, Golden State's pace long a major advantage against most opponents, but against Toronto, that's no longer a sure bet now. Well, Ed, numbers never lie. If we're paying attention to the numbers, they state that the Raptors are almost the best team at beating the Warriors. Going back to 2015-16 season, they've lost every game by two possessions or less. We may see the same thing tonight. For the Raptors right now, it's twofold. Not just winning with Kawhi, but trying to keep Kawhi. I think Toronto has to look at this as a one-year lease. You have to get as much out of Kawhi as you can. The goal is to win a championship, and the goal is to win one now. Siakam at the line for a chance at a three-point play. His career mark right now sits at 63%. And he missed the free throw. Curry into the front court. Looking to make something happen. He gets it. He's a modern-day big that plays like a 6-2 guard. Scary. The ball controlled by Kyle Lowry. Checks it. Sent a message on that one, Ed. And the finish. Slam dunk. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet, but if anything, it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim. And look out. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's prob city. Now a steal as the Raptors have it. Nice pass to set things up. Leonard, wide open look, won't go. But if great shooters keep getting open looks, it's a matter of time before they start knocking them down. You have to start contesting some shots. And scores, plus the foul. Draymond Green with a chance at three, coming up at the line. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Raymond Green trying to cash in on a three-point play. A career 70% free throw shooter. Free throw good to finish off the three-point play. The lead is up to five. Pascal Siakam to Leonard. Won't go down. And that's how you make a difference. Every shot that the offense takes Make sure that it has a 10 as far as degree of difficulty. And scores. And that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Ball controlled by Kyle Lowry. To Danny Green. Lowry matched up with the two-time MVP. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. Coach is going to shift gears and adjust his matchups. Number 17, Jeremy Lin. Lin buries it on the catch and shoot. Great shot by the offense. But the defense, you can't afford to collapse off that penetration. I'd rather a team take a tough two than a wide open three. Curry. Oh, great pass, setting up the basket. Sometimes you hear people give all these fancy breakdowns, tell you all these different things they can do. That was just plain old, simple, bully basketball. Muscled his way through the lane. Leonard to Gasol. Shot by Lynn won't go. To Green. It. 
Pushing inside the paint on that one. Oh, man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with that size. But in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bigs. Here's Curry with it up top. His team on top by eight. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Stephen Curry at the line for a chance at a three-point play. For his career, 90% at the line. Free throws good for Curry, and the Warriors extend their lead. Ball's controlled by the Raptors. Pascal Siakam to Lynn. Now ready to shoot at the line. Trust me, you want to avoid early foul trouble. Take that one as a warning. Jeremy Lin at the line for two shots. For his career, 80% at the line. Misses the first. Second one goes. It's a one of two trip. to Sean Livingston. Count the bucket for two. No doubt about where that one was headed. It's the Raptors with the basketball. Haskell Siakam to Danny Green. Serge Ibaka slams it down. Jay, perhaps that's a start. Those kind of plays get me fired up. That's a momentum play. They look lifeless here in the first quarter, but a dunk like that can get your team going in the right direction. Draymond Green, two for two. That's what you want. Learn from that. You got to be a step ahead of the offensive player. Know that fake is coming again later. Lynn to Danny Green. To Jeremy Lin. The Raptors down to three on the shot clock. Lin. He made his first effort, but not that time. Thompson to bring it into the front court. Up a dozen. To Sean Livingston. From long range. His first effort off the mark. Jeremy Lin. Two or four now. You have to understand something. If you want to win this game, there should be one rule and one rule only. You never give up easy buckets, even if you have to give a hard foul. Make him earn it at the charity strike. And it's green for two. Deep three at the buzzer. So we played one here at Oracle with the Warriors on top. Jay and I back to Oakland after this. You're tuned into the NBA on EA Sports. Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. Toronto with the basketball. Knock loose. Warriors have it. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. To Green. Throws it down. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. Give 
give him two points. High percentage. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. Kawhi Leonard, guarded by Looney. Trying to cash in. Shot by Leonard, won't go. Oh, he had it. Seems like a lot of contact on that play. If I were that player, I would pull the ref over to the side, talk to him, express to him how much contact there was so he could look for that same foul call potentially the next time down the court. Green. Takes it right to the rim. A lot of contact there, but they say no foul. So many times you can tell if a player is going to finish before he even gets to the rim. Did you see that look on his face? That was a look of a three-point play. You always going in, think you can get more at the rim. Number two, to Thompson. Fires the three. He engulfed him that time. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Oh, they call the foul, Jay. A simple touch foul. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Lowry. And the rebound grabbed by the Warriors. To Durant. Here's a chance from long range. Misfires. It's no good. Lowry driving right to the basket and throws it down. I mean, defense, is it that easy? Can I see some reaction after somebody gets an easy dunk? Some yelling, some kind of emotion? I need you to get involved back in this ballgame. Curry to Green. 4-3. And Ed's Gasol with the rebound. To Leonard. Kevin Durant able to recover with the block. Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. To Gasol. Leonard. Lowry. Off the iron. No good. To Thompson. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. Confidence is such a beautiful thing, isn't it? Even if your perceived ability is prohibited, you've got to be you. Lowry to Gasol. Missed a wide open look. Yo, big kudos to the defender. It seems like the mere presence of him in the paint was enough to throw off the concentration of the guy trying to drop the layup in. Curry to Green. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. And I know there's so much excitement about the play, but everybody looks at the player. More people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. Draymond Green trying to cash in on a three-point play. He's perfect from the line so far. Unable to connect on the free throw. Lowry. And a throw down. Jay, I'm surprised. He had a chance to wrap him up. Well, you're not the only one surprised. This guy is not a good free throw shooter. You never let him have an easy bucket. If anything, make him earn it at the charity strike. Count the basket. Two more points in the paint. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. Lowry to Gasol. Good look that time, but off the mark. Down low, Thompson. Count the basket, and it could have been more. No whistle. One of the best in the biz right there. Maybe the best. Lowry has the basketball. Steph Curry sends it away. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by Curry.
Danny Green. And count the basket inside. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. To Curry. Green. The rebounds corralled by the Raptors. Lowry into the front court. Trailing by 14. Here comes the screen. Lowry, tough matchup with Draymond Green. Draymond Green. He's now shooting five for seven. Late heave to beat the buzzer. A very one-sided first half of basketball as we are at halftime. Let's get you to Orlando where we say hello to Jalen Rose in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Jalen. report the Warriors were the dominant team in that first half without question it was their playmaking the way they gave each other scoring opportunities that really impresses me I love seeing unselfish basketball like that have a look at the leading scores for the Golden State Warriors the Raptors have yet to appear after one half of basketball. There isn't enough time to get into all of their problems, but I'll tell you this, they need to try to get better. Have a look at the leading scores for the Toronto Raptors. Game track, field goals. Here's a team that might just be one or two adjustments away from what's needed to turn things around. They still have time to make up for a lackluster first half. Player of the half. Draymond Green has already put together a pretty nice highlight reel for himself, and that's just after one half of basketball. He did a lot of scoring, and it probably won't stop anytime soon. say about a guy like this except that he fits the title of this segment he was definitely cold in that first half here we go with the top plays from the first half number two number one Back to Ed and Jay to bring you the second half action. Kyle Lowry with the rock to Leonard. Surveys the floor. Defense making the ball handler work. And a nice finish at the rim. Underutilized. 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 Am I getting my point across? Let's see more of that to Durant, lets it fly from beyond the arc, shot off the mark, good defense. Great contest by the D, but I wanna see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball, let him prove that it wasn't the D, it was more in his own head. Kawhi Leonard, Green always looking for the steal. Durant. Jay, he commands the paint this time down. Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even harder on the defensive end. 
Lowry to Danny Green. Able to convert inside. The one thing we know for certain in this league, it doesn't matter how big the margin is, you can always put together a run and get back in this one. Thompson. Now, he was smothered and still gets it to go down. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Leonard to Danny Green. Here's Leonard for two. Jumper's good. If you're coaching against this player, you have to throw some fake traps, some fake schemes. How are you making this player think instead of just naturally reacting? That'll get out off the Raptors. It stays with Golden State. Durant. Deep right corner to Curry. Ah, Steph Curry. Not a busy night, but effective. Two for two. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Here comes the screen. Leonard to Gasol. Wide open look won't go. You see, Ed, this is where coaches get fired. It's great to have good offensive sets, but if you can't execute, then the play was a failure. Gets to the basket and scores. He has an uncanny approach to the game. And did you see that? His eyes are his deadliest weapon. When he steps over half court, when he looks at the rim, that naturally throws the defender off. It makes the defender lean just a little bit. And just that millisecond of you wondering what he's going to do, splash is enough for him to exploit. Plenty of contact. The shot, no good. But you can't just be a one-dimensional player. I know you're probably frustrated by me even saying that. But when you don't even give the option to pass the ball by utilizing some head fakes or ball fakes here and there, you save the defender by keeping them on their toes Defense. with the element of surprise. Defense, let's go. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. Now three for nine. From somebody who loved to score a lot himself, defensively, if you are guarding me in a parallel position, I can have whatever I want when I want. You have to force this guy to go one direction, make him go towards his weak hand, and then contest that shot. Now a whistle, and Toronto's going to use a timeout as their coaching staff wants to talk things over here in this third quarter. Changes coming from both sides right now. Lowry here against Steph to Leonard. Green, screen, screen. Oh, he got a piece of it. Jesse racing mistakes left and right. Ibaka buries it on the catch and shoot. Ed, let me tell you how this one goes. It ain't no fun if the homies can't have some. Everyone's getting a piece of the rock tonight. To Curry. Let's it fly from long range. Textbook defense. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Curling inside. Off the mark. With defense like that, little margin for error. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. Toronto has the basketball. Lowry to Lynn. Gets a look. Can't hit. Beyond the arc for three. That out of his range and no good. On a bad pass. Going to be taken away by the Warriors. Just inside the arc. At the buzzer. Three quarters down. The fourth quarter coming up. The Warriors enjoying some breathing room right now.
the Warriors with the basketball to begin the fourth quarter. And this one, Jay, not totally in the win column yet, but with a double-digit lead, you have to like their chances. I love when I start seeing fans exit the arena so early in this game, and I hear people say, this one should be in the bag. Well, guess what? It's never a guarantee. You have to be careful not to slow down the pace of the game and take the air out of the basketball. You have to put your foot on the gas and try to win this game with a sense of urgency. Siakam, guarded by Jarebko. To Leonard. Deep left corner to Gasol. Mark Gasol, not shaken for the early struggles. Maybe this is a sign of things to come. Old school equals high percentage. Livingston across the timeline. His guys go. hold a commanding stop, 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 stop. lead. Going to launch beyond the arc. Rebound, rebound. The drive right to the basket. Gasol. A bad pass there. Warriors have it. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in the playoff game, it will. Mark Gasol. Huge block. Picked up. Here we go. To Thompson. Thompson, four out of seven. Clay isn't usually a guy that goes to the bucket. He usually pulls up for threes, but that was a nice, easy lay-in right there. Kawhi Leonard against the former Cougar. Here comes the screen. Leonard has a chance, and he hits. This is where I go back into player mode. If a dude starts to try to have 40 points on me, I'm going to foul out. I'm going to start hitting him in places he's not used to being hit. I'm trying to do anything to throw him off his game. To Thompson. Fires the three. Well defended. Leonard to Lowry. From the painted area, won't go down. To Thompson. Has a look. Yes, Clay Thompson. With that, he's five for nine. When I played, and I see guys do this all the time, when you shoot, the target isn't the basket. The target is actually before you even go into the shot. The target are your hands defensively. If your hands are down and you give me clear vision towards the bucket, that shot's definitely going up. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Leonard knocks it down off the step back. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. Clay Thompson is going to get a chance at three here. A career 85% free throw shooter. And he connects on the first free throw. Second to three, got it. Three for three, nice. Lowry with it, down a bundle. To Gasol. Trying to cash in. Shot by Gasol. No good. Curry to bring it up. Looking to make something happen. Not that time. And not his shot. Leonard to Gasol. get that one to go. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. Strong finish. That's what you need regardless of contact focusing on the rim. Thompson and strokes it. The reality is no one can guard a player at his level one-on-one. -on -one. The help defense needs to be shown and he needs to see a series of obstacles instead of just one individual. Siakam. Tough matchup against Durant. Here comes the screen. Leonard 
to Gasol. Shot clock. It's coming down to four. Now down to three. Shot from in close. No good. It's easy. Force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. To Thompson. Has a chance. Uh, not today. The contest was good, but you being a nuisance was great. Continue to be that gnat that no matter how many times you swing at it, it never goes away. Lowry, defended by Draymond Green. Strong finish at the rim for Marcus All. We get a whistle and a timeout by Golden State as they'll make sure they're all on the same page here in the fourth quarter. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. To Curry. Durant. Tough shot. He hits. Ooh, welcome to the new reality. Positionless basketball. Bigs are now PGs with the ability to drain threes. Lowry to Danny Green for three. That's off the side of the rim. No good. Durant from long range. I don't know, Jay. They have a big lead. This game is just about over. He might not make many friends on the other side with that three. Oh, I don't want to hear that generic coaching speak about dwindle down the shot clock, use the clock, the clock is your friend. No, if you have a chance to beat him by 50, beat him by 50. If you want to beat him by 100, keep shooting more threes. Iguodala to bring it up. His guys holding the big lead. Ugh. Lowry into the front court. He'll run the offense. Off the assist. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. That pass taken away by Toronto. Lowry. That misses with three seconds left. Long key from three quarters court. It's the Warriors who get the victory as they cruise to win a game that was never really in doubt. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. As we say, so long, everyone. David Rose here, and I've got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Warriors were merciless in this game. The scoring display they put on is going to be hard to forget. It's hard to imagine anyone doesn't come away impressed with how effectively they score their points. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Golden State Warriors. The Raptors lost this game long before the final buzz, and every team in this league loses games. You just don't want to lose them like this. I can already see a players-only meeting in their future. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Toronto Raptors. Game track. Field goals. The Golden State Warriors were tough to beat today considering how well they shot the ball. It's easy to frustrate your opponent when even their best defensive effort doesn't translate into a lead or more importantly, a win. Player of the game. Day Day gets the war for the most obvious reason, and that's his scoring output. He couldn't be stopped, and it was incredible to watch. Who was cold? What can you say about a guy like this? Except that he fits the title of this segment. He was definitely cold in this game. Here's our top plays of the game. Number two. Number one. On behalf of Ed Coyne and Jay Williams, this is Jalen Rose signing off.